fans and stuff. Oh, I know you're not actually checking out. I'm gonna have to check that. No, I don't want you to go the other way. Yeah, she is checking, you know, worlds. You kind of have to. Mark the writer. Oh. Mark the writer. <laughs> hey, how do you feel about? Welcome, Welcome to the Storyers. All right. So pleasant. Was it? Because we're going to have a pleasant episode for you. That's right. So we were going to be talking about something with Sarah. Sarah was giving us some writing tips, but mm, we had an encounter. An encounter. You might recognize this guy. Mark Ross on the job in Indiana could only think of one thing, getting home to Detroit. You know, I felt, I really felt the spirit. Like, I really felt it. <laughs> What is it? Tell us. Mark the writer on Facebook. Oh, you can't. Oh, you Mark the writer. So you just look up the hashtag Mark the writer and the name of it is called So you talk memories of the day. You got Facebook? Can I pull up real fast? Basically, the story is. Mark the writer. Mark the writer. Hey, how do you feel about without somebody addressing it a little bit? You know, I felt I really felt the spirit. So that guy, Mark. Mark the writer. Great energy. You know what I'm saying? If every writer can pump themselves, like Mark the Writer pumps himself, wow. Wow, yeah. we can all learn a lot from that guy. I mean, he came up to us just out the blue. I thought that was just like throwaway stuff, honestly. Like, and then I started thinking about it more. Who does this? You know what I'm saying? What writer do you know or even creative person that has this much gumption? Check him out, Mark the Writer on Facebook. Why do I hold back? You know what I'm saying? It's like, why, why am I not, why do I not do more stuff like that? Uh, why am I not more energetic, excited? Because that stuff is contagious, right? Right. I mean, I read his stuff, you read his stuff, and half the times when we try to get our friends to do stuff, yeah, right? we like, can hey, man, I got this thing, and they're like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll like, get to it later. They, they don't get to it. Yeah. But, like, this stranger comes up to me because of his excitement, because of his conviction about how good his stuff, he, he sold his stuff well, and then he sold it again. Mm-hmm. He didn't go for that, like, one and done. He came back around. He came back around. <laughs> came back around having a nice old time. <laughs> All right. But that's the question. What are the things that hold you back from sharing or even having enough? <laughs> What's the stuff that holds you back from coming forward with confidence, telling people, strangers even? I mean, because he's like a just straight up gung-ho about this stuff right and so like right. think about what what that would do to, what that would do to your creative game to your writing your videography any of it like if you had that type of enthusiasm if you could sell like that um but what's yeah i'd love to hear like what's the stuff that's holding you back yeah and let's brainstorm ways to get past please comment below if you would it'd be uh very gracious if you do it like 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 or don't love. Leave a comment and say why you hated it so much. Yeah, we're just trying to get better. Subscribe. Share. Keep you sharing. It's caring. And caring. What, dude, you like gave me the. My yeah. plan. Uh, uh. Jedi mind trick. What did you do, man? I mean, last Jedi you. Sharing is caring. <laughs> people don't know how much you care. Until they see how much you share. How did you. Like the whole time. Like, well, I'm back this on whole there. time. This mm -hmm. whole time. Yeah. I've had. And, yeah. This last Jedi did. I re-in Johnson did. <laughs> <laughs>